Welcome to We Are Soccer. Today I'm joined by Keely Titmus. She plays for the Nationals GA team here in Michigan, and she's also the number one goalie for the U-17 national team. She's a big deal. Keely, thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's talk. Yeah. All right. So uh, tell us about your time at the Nationals. Tell us, tell us how it's going. Uh, how's the season going so far? Oh, it's good. Our season's kind of on a break right now. We're just in winter trainings and things like that. But uh, we, our last season was really good. Okay. Into like for our fall and stuff, we had a pretty good record. We didn't lose a league game, which was nice. And we went like 700 plus minutes without letting a goal in. So that was fun too. And we actually just came back from Arizona and we beat the national championship team that beat us twice before. So, wow. That was fun. Very interesting. Yeah. All right. So you guys are on a little break, but you're still training. There's no, there's no off days, right? There's no, no. off season, really. really uh, no. Soccer has changed a lot over the years. So now it's, there's no off season. You go straight through, right? right? Yeah, pretty much. Our, the number of trainings we do within a week uh, sometimes gets smaller just so that we have a little bit more time to rest and like take care of ourselves and the type of training we do gets a little bit different. But we still practice four days a week. Okay. All right. Uh, are you doing any additional training or just doing the training uh, with the club and the team? Uh, I do a little bit of additional training. Uh, our club also provides like keeper training, so I do as much of that as I can, boys or girls. And I do a lot of like lifting and I try to run on my own because running is always something I can get better yep. at. So, yep. yeah. Are you one of those players who kind of works quietly away from the scene on their days off? Uh, I know a couple of players, a couple of people who like to go running around a track when no one is there. Uh, yeah. is, that, is that you as well? I like doing that. I go to a pretty big commercial gym though. Okay. So there's always a ton of people there, sure. especially people from like my school that I know. Sure. But I like just like I have a trainer and I just kind of stick with them and just right. do my own thing. All right, so you're a goalie. Mm -hmm. When did you decide that you wanted to be goalie? Uh, at, what, at what age? I started kind of experimenting in it when I was probably seven or eight, and my parents always wanted me to play on the field sure. for a little longer just so my feet developed a little bit more. Yep. Um, but probably around 12 or 13, I started playing like just keeper. So. So, so what drew you to sp specifically to playing goalkeeper? Because uh, it is a, obviously there's only one goalkeeper yeah. on the field, right? Where if you're a midfielder, you can get bumped up to forward or bumped back to right. defender. There's one goalie. What what drew you to that? Because it's such a unique position. Um, I think I've always been a pretty ambitious person. I think as a kid, I was always pretty ambitious, and I also I think I'd have kind of my dad and my brother to thank for it. My brother's a baseball p player, and my dad played basketball, baseball, and that stuff. And so they always had some sort of ball or something in their hands, and so I think it just kind of transferred over to me. But I decided to go with a little bit of a bigger one and just stick with soccer and do that. Nice. I like that. All right. So nowadays goalies are expected to be able to use their feet. Yeah. Uh, compared to when I played 20 years ago where we were just happy he stood in the goal and just happy we found someone to show I'm like goalie. <laughs> um, so do you train during with in with the National GA? Do you train specifically on the field to use your feet? Uh, how is the time split in practice there? Um, for practice, a lot of times we have like the first like three quarters or half of it will be like just kind of like technical work, field based kind of stuff, and like depending on the space that we have, we'll move into a goal or maybe not. But I just try to stick with my team and. Mm -hmm just do all the stuff that they do and try not to see myself as a goalie. But if there are like certain like games or stuff that we play, um, I'll be in like a position that kind of relates back to goalie the most, where I still get a lot of footwork, but it still correlates to my position more. Okay, I like that. I understand you've committed to Penn State. I have. Congratulations, that Thank is you. awesome. Uh, Big 10 is, it's a heck of a level to play at, is yeah. a heck of a vision. Uh, I am a Spartan. I played for Michigan State. Right. Um, but it is awesome to see someone uh, of your quality get to play college soccer and go to the Big Ten. Yeah. Now, I want to give you a little bit of advice. Mm -hmm. Anytime you step up a level, and I know you've played at a great level here with the Nationals and you played a really good level with the U.S. team, yeah. right? But every time you go up a level, you're going to be playing against girls who are three, four, sometimes five years older. Yeah. The speed of the game goes up, right? Are you prepared for that? Uh, I think I'm preparing okay. for it. Right. I try to put myself in situations where okay. I get that extra pace. Yep. And so I train with boys at keeper training a lot just so I Good. get used to 
yep. you know, harder shots because I know none of my team are going to hit it as hard as them right now. And my keeper coach has started lacing in some balls on me, so that's Good. nice too. That's, uh, that's quality. I was actually watching the Next Level Training guys and girls a couple of weeks back, and they were smashing balls at the goalie. So uh, I was scared of it. I'm sure you'd have no problem with it. Uh, and I understand you're also a Next Level uh, part, uh, player. So you go and train with Aaron and the Next Level Training Group, I right? I do, yeah. My team, we always kind of find chunks of like two month time mm -hmm. to where we get in like once a week and work with them. And I love it. It's yeah. great for like my footwork and stuff because I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that on my own, yeah. really, because I don't have really... Yeah, you're not going to have anybody there push you like Aaron right. and that crew pushes you. Trust me, it is some of the best trainers around. That's why U.S. men's national team, NWSL players, MLS players, they fly in from out of town and stay here just to train with Aaron and that group. Yeah. So it's, I mean, you're... You're on the right path. You're yeah. training. You're working hard. You're, you're putting the putting your head and your your nose down to the grindstone to, to do that. For sure. Let Let's get Let's go back a little bit. When did you start playing soccer? Uh, you mentioned your dad and your brother played baseball and basketball. I didn't hear any soccer there. So when did When did soccer really kind of stick out to you? And that's what you wanted to do. We kind of went on a little uh, tangent to see what sport I'd like the best. So we tried a bunch of different things, and probably at like age. Five, I'd say, I found soccer and it kind of just stuck more than the other sports had. I was a little bit more excited to show up to practice for soccer. So. Nice, nice. I like it. All right, give me a name of a coach who stuck out to you and really helped you in your career uh, so far. I got. I have to say my goalie coach. It's a, and I might not be pronouncing his last name right, but it's Rico Jovanovic. Okay. I think is how you say it. Mm -hmm. Um. He's from Serbia, but he has been with me through it all pretty much since I was probably nine or ten. He's been like training with me through my ups and downs, all of it. He's been right there, like pushing me along the way. So I got it. That, that's hand great. It to him. That's awesome. Any coaches at the Nationals right now who really uh, you really like working under? He actually works for the club. Mm -hmm. So, definitely so you do a lot him. of training with him specifically. Yeah, and probably. Uh, Granthic Chatterjee and sure. my coach right now, David Robertson, yep. they've done a ton for me as far as getting my name out there and helping me like, get opportunities that awesome. other people aren't as lucky to get. Yeah, both great coaches, great people. I know them. Uh, all right, the World Cup finished, uh, what, about a month ago now? Yeah. Did, I, I was completely engrossed with the World Cup. I could not, I was waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> watching the games. I was writing about it, reading about it. Uh, my wife thought I went nuts because I was staying up late and continued talking on forums and on our Facebook group. Yeah. Were you quite, not, maybe not quite as obsessed, but did you watch a lot of the games and did you enjoy it? I did watch a lot of the games, awesome. actually. I, a lot of us at my school, because the games were kind of midday mm -hmm. into like 2 o'clock, a lot of us would put them on our Chromebooks or our computers and we'd like set them up in a corner of the room so our teachers <laughs> weren't able to see. But I did watch a lot of it and it was, it's always a blast. I loved it. It, it was one of the best World Cups I have ever seen from an entertainment value. I just, I could not stop watching. No. Um, all right, give me a team besides Team USA mm -hmm. that you kind of enjoyed watching or followed along or were hoping we were going to win. Uh, I was rooting for Argentina the whole Yeah? Week. Yeah. Oh, look at you. All right. I wanted Messi to get that World yep. Cup so badly. Is he your GOAT? Is he the best ever? In my opinion, yeah. Yes, 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 exactly. Ronaldo's not even close, right? No. No, exactly. <laughs> uh, is there a team, a professional team, that you follow throughout the year? Um, a couple. I follow some of the NWSL teams. Mm -hmm. We don't have one in Michigan, but I follow the Portland Thorns and okay. Chicago Red Stars a lot. Nice. And I also follow Manchester United. <sighs> okay. All right. We'll skip past that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, that's awesome. They have a great goalkeeper, one of the best goalkeepers in the Premiership, David yes. De Gea, right? So yes. uh, not the best with his feet, but not one of the true. best shot stoppers in the league, bar none. Yeah. Uh, and the Portland Thorns, that's a great team as well. Um, Maggie Pogark from Michigan plays out there. Right. Uh, there's a couple of others as well. So, yeah. Do you do you try to watch uh, the NWSL quite often, as often as you can? As often as I can. I, sometimes they're on some weird streaming sites, yeah. so I can't always catch every game. Yeah. But when they're on the bigger networks and stuff, I always try to watch. It's getting bigger. It's yeah. getting a lot bigger, and I guarantee a lot more of those games are going to be are going to be shown on on major networks. I hope so. Well, 2023 here, 
is the U.S. Women's World Cup as yes. they go to Australia. The Women's World Cup in the USA will be playing. So are you looking forward to watching that? I am looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to see how we do. Yeah. We've, uh, we've got a lot to make up, yes. uh, especially after playing the last couple of, uh, last, I'd say 12 to 24 months. It hasn't been as good, but yeah. the USA team is young and strong, so hopefully they can pull it together and really, yeah. really dominate, right? I hope so. Yeah. I'm super excited to see how they do. Do you have a favorite player on the USA team at all? Um, I, I do love Alyssa Nair. Yeah? I love watching her, and obviously Penn State grad, so sure. got to always support Love it, love it. Uh, I'm a big Rose Lavelle fan. I uh, crafty. I love watching her. Yep, yep, exactly. All right, we get a lot of kids. Uh, I would say youth players in the area who watch our show and love to watch our interviews. Mm -hmm. I know you're young, but there are younger kids watching. Uh, I've I've heard of uh, p parents uh, saying they're nine and ten year olds watch. Right. So. Is there some advice that you would pass along to, say, a 10-year-old mm -hmm. who's watching this and says, I want to get to the level Keeley's at. I want to get to Penn State. Mm -hmm. I want to play college soccer. I want to be in the U.S. national team setup. What advice would you give to a youngster? Uh, I think there'd be a couple things. One, make sure you love it because yep. there are going to be a lot of things that you have to kind of give up and things you have to be ready to sacrifice. And as long as you love it, it's all worth it in the end. So I think that's the big piece because yep. the sacrifice and everything sometimes like it drags a little and it sucks. But, you know, I love the game and I'd say anybody who loves it as much as me, yep. like if you love putting in the work, putting in the extra hours and all that stuff, I think it's always possible. Awesome. All right. I got two things to, uh, to wrap up with you here. Mm -hmm. One, do me a favor. Don't lose the love for the sport because I know a lot of people who go to college and it becomes a grind and yeah. they lose the love for the sport. But soccer is one of the only sports you can continue playing in your 40s, 50s, and 60s. Yeah. That's no joke. I was just in Florida last week and there was an over 70 division. Nice. No joke. <laughs> and I watched it because I'm obsessed with the sport. And it was fun to watch these oh guys running around 70 plus years old, still loving the game, enjoying with their friends. That's so awesome. don't lose the love for the sport. Not happening. And remember, it gets harder and faster as the levels goes up and go yeah. up, right? So you got to work a little bit harder. You got to be ready. I, I have no doubt you are. Um, so one last question. Right. Is the final goal to go pro? Yeah, Good. it is. Love it. Yep. Love it. Um, well, I have no doubt if you continue working hard, continue on this trajectory you're on, and being humble and letting the coaches know uh, how they helped you, you will make it to that level. Yes. Stay healthy yes. and good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.